right. I've been around cars my whole working life. That is a car. I love cars. Always have. Right, this is officially quite exciting. Hello, boys. It's a bomb bug. Why have you got one of these, though? Now I'm taking my obsession. I have had a win idea to another level. I'm going to learn how to restore cars for real. I'm starting a classic car restoration workshop. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the first two episodes of the new TV show from Richard Hammond called Richard Hammond's Workshop. Um, and it is on Discovery Plus if anybody's interested in checking it out. Now, for those of you who know me, you know my content, know that I'm a big fan of A Top Gear, certainly the top gear of old when it was Richard Hammond jeremy clarkson and james may massive fan of the grand tour obviously with those three guys and i do follow a lot of what they do outside of the grand tour i absolutely loved clarkson's farm that was on earlier this year for me it was the show of the year it was absolutely brilliant um, i like watching some of um james may's like travel shows that he does uh, occasionally on amazon and things like that and when I saw this advertised on, I think I saw a trailer for this on YouTube, I think. It might have been a Facebook advert, something like that. And I was really interested. I mean, surprisingly, this isn't an Amazon show. It's just Discovery Plus. I thought Amazon might have picked this up and funded it, but obviously not. And the crux of this is Richard Hammond has decided to set up his own business. Um, um, a car restoration uh, classic car restoration business um, and essentially you learn uh, certainly in the first episode that all of his classic cars over the years or the majority of them that especially where he's lived he's taken to this small business near nearby and they've always restored his cars to an absolutely superb standard he really really rates them and he decided to go into business with them basically um, and he would fund this that and the other and they would get this huge like new um, workshop um, and they will go into like this car restoration business classic car restoration um, and this series and I think there's four episodes overall but I've only seen the first two so far um, chronicles this journey of him setting up this business so the first episode is essentially the setup um, of him explaining this um, and meeting the new guys at the workshop it's a father and son team um, Anthony and Neil um, and then him the trials and tribulations of essentially trying to set this business up and there are many many hurdles to overcome obviously I mean yes we all know that Richard Hammond is probably worth a bob or two he's probably got quite a few million in the bank let's not you know um, jump around the issue he's a he's a very very wealthy man clearly but he wants this business to be self-sufficient it wants it to, it wants it to be profitable and he doesn't want to just keep churning money into a business that isn't going to be profitable because that would just be stupid um and clearly certainly in these first two two episodes anyway that is a lot of what we're seeing is this business is in its infancy um, and it is not really getting any customers. Um, so much of these first two episodes of those uh, are of Richard trying to get out there, use his celebrity to promote the business. And in the first episode, you see him and his wife, Minda, go to like a classic Jag show to hand out, um, you know, um, business cards and things like that and talk to the other Jag owners, trying to get some business. Um, and that was really interesting. Uh, but also as well, we learned that the where the workshop that's supposed to be built for them um is, there's massive delays um so they're having to run the business um essentially from the old garage that anthony and neil used to run when they ran their own business before richard came on board um and that's just not big enough essentially um and so they're, they're getting hardly any customers they're trying really hard to get their face out there to get the business name out there and the business is called um oh what's it called now smaller than um no um smaller than any cog no down to the smallest cog sorry so it's somewhat like that um and in the second episode he then goes um to uh, it takes the guys to like the the classic London car show um, to try and show off the work that they do. Um, so they go with the plan of having like a before, during and after. So the after is one of the cars that they have restored already for Richard Hammond. Beautiful Jag. 
Um, the during is one car that they're working on that is notoriously difficult to work on, which is why they've chosen it it's for them to prove what they can do. And then like the before, so Richard Hammond goes out basically and buys a car uh, for them to start from scratch as well. So they've got like a before, a during and an after, which they could show off at the show, which you see in the second episode. But it appears, certainly from what I saw from the second episode, that most people are more interested in Richard Hammond and his celebrity and that kind of work, the the two guys, you know, the mechanics side of it. Uh, it felt like he wasn't promoting the business and rather than promoting himself almost. But you do get the impression here that Richard Hammond is definitely taking this seriously, even though he's doing like his light-hearted approach to things. So he's very much, you know, the Richard you know and love from Top Gear and Grand Tour. He's very witty and things like that. But there's also a very serious side to it, almost like the Clarkson's Farm thing, that this is a business that needs to be sustainable for it to be... Um, to have any longevity at all and he's very very determined to make this business work um, and you do definitely get that impression from the first two episodes so this is a really nice new show it's only going to be four episodes um, so it's not going to take up too much of your time so if you're a fan of Richard Hammond or you're a fan of Top Gear and Grand Tour this is a nice little curious show for you to check out and I've really enjoyed it I've enjoyed watching his journey so far and I'm going to continue to watch it and watch the final two episodes as well which I will try and bring you a review of so I hope you enjoyed this review guys I'm going to give this show an 8 out of 10 uh, check it out if you get the opportunity and I will be back obviously with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon.